Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the marquee has been a staple and a trend in web design since I think 2020 and I think it's going to continue this way into the next year. So today we are building a marquee in a few variations only with CSS and HTML and no JavaScript which is always always a plus I would say. Also if you have been building your marquee with the HTML marquee tag please please reconsider and delete it because the html marquee tag has been deprecated for quite a while now and browsers will stop supporting it if they're not already and your website will suffer the consequences if you want your website to thrive and not to worry about it then continue watching this video because we are going to build a super smooth marquee so let's get into it i mean you guys look how smooth these are look how smooth like look at this look at this Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 what's happening? I mean, how bloody amazing is this? I freaking love it. I could do this all day. All right, let's talk a little bit about this first marquee. As you can see, it's pretty seamless and it has a hover effect. I've added text stroke effect once you hover on it. And look how seamless it is. Nothing is staggering, nothing is stopping, no matter what. And what we are going to do now is basically replicate it more or less. And I will explain the code and the whole process of making it. So let's add a new container and what I'm going to do with this container is I'm going to give it a full width and I'm also going to remove the padding because we want the marquee to be seamless. As you can see there's no space on the sides. We want it to be bleeding into the edges without any padding if that makes any sense. The next step is adding an HTML element inside this container and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this code basically we are just copying the first marquee but i want to explain to you what this code does okay so let me explain what this code does so first of all we have a div with a class of marquee and this div is called a parent container and this parent container has two children which are called marquee group it's this one and then it's this one and we must have two children containers in the parent container at all time with the, the equal amount of spans basically so if you have three spans in the first child container then you have to have three spans in the second child container because if you only have let's say two then you will notice that the container is going to have a gap so let me show you what i mean let's copy one of the spans and let me bring it down here and let me just delete this and now you will see what's gonna happen. You're gonna see that there is a gap where it should be text, obviously. And there you go. So and now we're going to add the missing text and you will see that the problem has been rectified. So no matter what you do, just keep this in mind and adjust it accordingly to your marquee. Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the CSS because this is something that you will need to change according to your own marquee. And I will tell you what you can change and what you should change. And if I don't say that you should change it, then you should leave it like that because that's like the basic things that make the marquee work, okay? <laughs> All right, so what you can play around with is basically let's say the padding top and padding bottom and you can also change the height of the marquee and I will change it to 20 for example and if you don't have a height as you can see the text is going to be pretty squished inside the container so I would say give it some height give it some room to breathe and also also this is very important if you change the gap here the gap of the container if you change this gap you have to change it everywhere and by everywhere i mean everywhere you where you have the gap mentioned in the code so let's say i want a gap of 2 rem here you will notice that there is a little bit of a stagger that was it if you notice there's a stagger because we didn't change it everywhere so i will just change it here and here and that's it and now the marquee is back to being and working smoothly so keep that in mind then if you want to give it a background color let me uncomment this code then we have a background color you can give it a little bit more padding but that's one thing you can do 
let me uncomment that and then if you want to skew it a little bit if you know what I mean by doing this for example you can use this property but I have the impression that the text gets a little bit squished in not the right way and let me just uncomment and let me show you another property basically it's the same but we are adding a rotation to it and if you want to do this as you can see here are the sides the marquee is not bleeding right so you can also delete the overflow hidden and then the marquee is back at being pretty smooth side to side and let me just bring it down so you can play around with these values here change them as again as you like according to your own use case play around with it so this is an option that you have and i will comment this right now because we just want to have a plain plain marquee okay so we are down to the marquee and the hover effect so all this code here under marquee hover is the the hover effect that you see here the text stroke so if you don't want this effect you can just uncomment it or add your own code you can also add a color for example let's see if that works let me just bring this here let me comment this out and let's add a background as you can see you can add whatever you want and you can even leave a tra the transition on and it's even smoother so again there are so many ways that you can design this marquee but you need some basic knowledge of CSS which you can find online no problem okay right here under marquee group we have the animation that is making this marquee work. Let me uncomment it. And now the marquee is now working. And let's add a reverse. So now the marquee is going the other way around. So let me just delete that. We're back to going the other way. So pretty much that's it. I think it's a lot of information, especially if you don't have knowledge of CSS, but the basic stuff is there. So if you don't want the hover effect, don't have it if you just want to have some plain text this works fine let's see if this is responsive and how it behaves as a responsive marquee as you can see the font shrinks according to your viewport because i gave it a viewport width of seven viewport width you can change it accordingly and whatever you want it to be okay now let's move on to the next marquee because this is a little bit more special and i wouldn't say necessarily more complicated but has that wow factor or is like a, the next level marquee and it was inspired by this website and they are as well using a marquee for this section here and i think it's pretty lovely and look at this this is next level but our marquee is as good as that one <laughs> although a little bit more basic so let's see it in uh, the wild and it goes and it stops once you hover and the background of the image changes color and shape of course again the hover effect is up to you you will have to find your own style you can use the same style i'm using here and just simply change the color i think this is pretty cool and let's see the code let's see first the html code and as you can see i have again the same structure we have a parent container that holds two children containers each child container having the same amount of elements this is basic as i said for each marquee this is the basic way of doing it and let's go to the css code and let's see what is happening here and again we have the same basic structure oh another thing that i forgot to mention as you can see on the parent container of this marquee we have a second class and this class is the class that pauses the marquee on hover and you will see it mentioned here as well so if you eliminate this for example let's just comment this text if i hover yes the animation still shows but the marquee does not stop so if you don't want to stop you just simply delete this and you're all good set so everything else is basically more or less as in the previous marquee and i don't know if there is anything else i can tell you about this again the hover effect this is something that you will have to play around with and make it your own you can change the back background color here let's let's just play around with this if you want to have this option let's 
add another color. Let me just delete this. Okay. And as you can see, the color has changed. So I think this is pretty basic and simple. Oh, I forgot to mention that you can change the speed of the marquee from here. So for example, let's put it at 10. Now it's faster. If I put it at 60, it's super, super slow. The same stands for the, the first marquee. It's exactly the same. So wherever you see the animation, you can just change the duration of the animation from here. So yeah, I think uh, the marquee is such a great way to add a little bit of dazzle to your website. And let me know in the comments below what you will be using this for. And also let me know if you understood. If you would like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.